Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net and welcome to another very exciting tutorial where we're going to take a look at building an advanced score. So we've already been through the collection. I'm going to go ahead and go straight to a layered track set called Unleashed Power. And we have two tracks, orchestra and percussion. Now some tracks have three, some have four. What we'll do is just drag it out onto different layers. And so now we have our two audio tracks there. Now we will be coming for a couple of main elements. We'll go to the sound design folder. We'll take the bombs folder and we'll bring in this nice big drum. And let's maybe bring in a couple of these music effects. So I'll just drag them in. Now the sound effects do play automatically. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, shut that preference off. Play audio files automatically. Choose OK. And that way I can select them and hit the space bar. That's a pretty cool sound. We'll bring that one in too. Why not? OK. I'll go ahead and make my tracks a little bit larger. And so here's what these two sound like together. Okay, so it's just a, a good sounding track and I'll just scale this up so we can see it a lot better. Now, what I want to do is build some intensity. So in order to build intensity, I need to have contrast. I need to have mellow parts that rise into a really big climax or you know a more motivational zone. So we'll go ahead and we'll go through. And tell you what, let's skip all the stuff in the beginning. So I'm going to cut this by hitting S and S. And remember, if you're in Premiere or After Effects, you can simply trim the clip where you want it. And I'll go ahead, hold down Shift, move these two tracks over. So now we just have this. I'm going to go ahead and mute these tracks. And we're going to focus on these two. All right, so we have this first hard hit, and you can see that the beat starts just about right there. And what I might do is cut this off again and slightly fade it in so that we don't hear a clip. Okay, and then I'll also bring our big drum sound and put it right there. So just kind of a hard hit right at the beginning. Now another cool trick is we'll create a new audio track and we'll insert an audio track. And it works similar in Premiere. You can simply drag audio files downward and they'll automatically create a new track. So you can work with um, you know, lots of tracks, more than you'll probably ever need. But what I want to do is take this track and make a copy of it. We can copy it and then select another track and paste it. Or we can hold down control and drag and makes a copy. So what I'm going to do with the copy here, and in the new versions of Sony Vegas, we can reverse the audio. So let's just uh, bring this up here for a moment. I'll right click, reverse, and now you can see the audio is backwards. And the sound of it backwards is something like this. So I'll go and fade it. So it kind of creates a uh, kind of a buildup. Turn that down a bit. So that's pretty cool because sometimes you want to have some sound that builds into that moment, and we'll be using a little bit more of that, um, you know, as we go along here, and maybe some of the sound design elements. Now, if you select a clip, you can right-click and go down and choose Properties, and that will tell you the name of the clip. Um, Although most programs show the name of the clip there. So if you're looking to recreate this, um, you know, hopefully you can pause it as I imported these elements. So here, let's listen to it with the sound design element. All right, so that's pretty cool and just gives a whole new feel to the video. Now, I'm going to solo this track. These are our drums, and this top track is our orchestra. So I'm going to take our orchestra, I'll just go ahead 
and name that. And these are sort of just audio tracks. So again, we'll play through it here. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the drum. So I'm gonna cut the clip by hitting S and moving it over here, because I'm gonna bring it back in later, but for right now I'm gonna cut it and just trim that first beat. Now we can hear the orchestra playing here, but I may wanna turn it up uh, just a bit. So I'll just increase that track. Now in Adobe Premiere, what you can do to maximize the audio of a clip is you can first turn it up. And you can also right click, and if I move this up, you can choose audio gain, and you can actually push the maximum decibel up as much as you want, and that way the sound will really be loud. You can see that it's uh, it's pretty much clipping here. So some sounds are quiet, some aren't. Um, you might want to be careful when you're working with you know louder sounds, but it will work nonetheless. Okay, now back to Vegas, where we're going to be doing our mixing. What I want to do is go ahead and give this top orchestra a different sound, a little bit something different. So let's see when the good time might be to transition. So right here at the beginning of the measure, so you hear it. You can hear that the track sort of starts over at about this point, or that measure ends. So I'll bring our drums over and I'll zoom in here. So if I listen to it, you can hear that's kind of a good time to bring in that drum track. So we layer it and build it over time. Now, let's go ahead and add a cool effect to this particular track. So we'll go into the layer track effects. And what this does is brings up this chain of events. And this allows you to have different effects. Now you can also add another plugin by clicking on this button. And depending on which you know programs you have installed, usually you're gonna see the basic Sony ones here. And these are really all you need to do a whole lot of things. And the cool thing about Vegas is the most important ones are actually already ready to go. A noise gate, a track equalizer, and a track compressor. Now, remember, in Premiere, you go to the effects, audio effects, stereo, and here you can find all of those different effects. Same thing with After Effects. There's an audio plugin thing that you can apply to your clips and do what you need. So, back to Vegas. What I'm gonna do is play around with the equalizer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. Now it's a little weird and you may have a different equalizer, but what this is is the different frequencies of a track. And usually these are your high frequencies, your low frequencies, and your mid frequencies. So we can bring our high frequencies down and if we play that back, you can hear it sort of sounds muffled. And if I bring it up, you can hear a lot more of those high pitch. Now, it's gonna take a little while to develop the ear for it, but you wanna be careful not to make things too sharp and not too dull. And depending on what you're trying to do, you know, there's gonna be different applications. For example, I'm actually gonna drop out all of the high frequencies, so I'm gonna bring this down to about here, and the low frequencies, so just leaving these mid frequencies, and I play that back. So that builds into the next track. Now, one cool thing we can do is make a new audio track right above it, make a copy of this, hold down control, and just drag it over there. It makes an exact copy. And then I can move this over. And so this part of the clip and this part of the clip are exactly the same. But this clip doesn't have any of those effects applied to it. If I look at its chain, you can see it's just normal. Well, what I can do is actually turn it up. So now it's very high pitched. And perhaps bring up some mid um, to high, low frequencies so that 
we get a little bit fuller sound. But the idea is to sort of make it unnaturally, you know, high pitched and sort of exaggerated. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use this to fade into the next part. So I just clicked right at the corner here until I get this little curve fade in and it's going to fade in. So we'll turn that off. Maybe turn the track down just a bit. And so listen. So what we've done is sort of built a, you know, a phaser between the dull track and sort of the exaggerated track. And that's a great way to transition between, you know, different moments in the track. Now, I don't want it to be too intense because we still want to build the track up a little bit more. In fact, we might want to do some, you know, basic effects. First, let's take our big drum hit right here. Hold down control, and make a copy. So we'll put it right here at the beginning. And that we have a nice strong starting beat. And we can of course add some of these other sound design elements. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is kind of a weird sound. You know, we can probably use that a little bit later. Pretty cool. Going back, I'll go ahead and unsolo, and let's go ahead and bring in the big part of the track. So it gets kind of built up, and we want to bring that in a little sooner. So let's find where it starts over. So right about here, you can see the track changes and we start hearing a little bit more going on. And we're going to go ahead and cut it at that point. So right there when it says... So we'll go ahead, hit the S, and that cuts it off, and again, S down here. Then we'll go to this part of the track. I'll go ahead and hide that for now. And so here we hear the first beat again. So we'll cut it here. And we'll cut it down here, and we'll just uh, we'll move this over. We may use it later, and we'll take these tracks and slide them over. So now we have sort of a starting beat. Now we want to make sure they line up. So let's check that. So it's a little off. So we'll go ahead and move them inward. That sounds a little better. And again, we can take this big drum and line it up so that we get a large sound all at once. If we go back to bridge, we can go back to our pro scores, epic music, massive, and we have that same track, Unleashed Power, here. Now, this one has been mastered in a way once everything is mixed together. So it has a little bit more of a punchy sound. So what I'll do is bring this track in, and now we have it on the track. And right here when the music builds up, we can actually see that. We can see it actually is right here because that's when everything looks a little bit louder. So what I'm going to do is just cut it right at that point. And then I can delete the first part. And instead of mixing these two together right now, I'm going to go ahead and delete the orchestra part turn down the drum track. Actually, we'll just mute it for the moment and bring in this part of the full version and line it up. So we'll turn it down a bit, make sure we're not clipping too much. Now remember, this audio track has our special effects on it. So I'm going to go ahead and create another audio track for our full orchestra. And then we'll go ahead and make sure we line it up. So we'll slide it over and give it a slight fade in. Now, if we listen closely, we can hear where the first beat starts. So right about there where it goes. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll go ahead right there, hit S, cut it. Give it a little bit of fade in and move it just overlapping this part of the music. So.
Okay, so now we have sort of a full orchestra coming in and, you know, there's way more power happening here. So what I can probably do is even give it a little bit more of an exaggerated sound so that it contrasts with the previous part of the music. So now it's full and large. Now, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and shorten this clip. So I'm gonna move forward to another measure. So right about here, we hear the same measure. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll cut it right there and we'll bring this part of the track over. I'll zoom in, we'll overlap it, and slightly fade it in. And we'll go ahead and check it here. So it's a little soon. Let's try that again. So we get into it pretty quick, but say we're just doing a quick little promo. And again, I wanna take this big bass drum, we're gonna slide it over and fade it out, and hold down Control, and drag it off to make a copy. We wanna make sure that we have a big, hard drum right at the very end. And another thing you can actually do is add drums during the big hits of the actual song. So, so right here, might add another one. Maybe not as loud. Okay, so these are just a few different tips that you know should be able to help you create some new sounding effects using uh, all the collection elements. And hopefully you'll be able to create some amazing things. I'm Andrew Kramer for videocopilot.net and I'll see you next time.